Yeah. You literally I, create I, magic. You no, know, you know what, babe? That's a good point because I want to tie into that. This magic, right? This thing. It always seems like they're at the right place at the right time, right? For instance, Victoria, she's definitely a soul family. Mm. One of our spirit families, right? I or, love that, yeah. Or one of our uh, spirit helpers, right? Because mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, when we move in from daycare to daycare, she always lined up to be working there or something. Or, you yeah. know, if we need to call her or something, now look, even if they're not conscious to the level where they don't understand the information or don't understand the science or, or, you know, they still might have a religious motif, it can still line up to work in your favor because there has to be some people that, you know, are going through the journey in a state of ignorance at this mm -hmm. time, right? But nice. that doesn't mean they're not here to help and assist you to for you to get to your higher vision, to your light, and so you can transcend this earth realm for real so yeah that's right very factual right time. yeah that's good Go ahead, babe. i love that point and it's like uh lady j matthew said in the chat it's called soul contracts or sacred contracts and that's true because i do have a sister who is not my biological sister but we've been friends since middle school early high school and with each phase of evolution that I've taken she's been along for the ride and that's not to say that she um, has all of the same beliefs and things of that nature but she is always in a position to offer us support and so she was at the birth of our of our first son she was at his birth with us supporting and just being there and giving me what I needed from a sister. Yeah. She, yeah. And then once we had our second child, the daycare that we put them in, she was the assistant director there. So again, she's still protecting and taking care. And then now the business that she's in, she's become our personal juicer. So when uh, we're fasting, when we're cleansing, when we're raising our vibration, when we're healing our bodies, she's juicing these organic, delicious juices for us. So in each phase of our life and our involvement, there's been a role that she has played in supporting us to get there. The even doper part is, is that as we grow and as we evolve, she does too, but in her own space and in her own realm. She even asked me something or told me a story about chakras uh, two days ago when I went to her house to pick up our juices. Not only that, babe, she was telling me, yeah, oh, this was crazy, y'all. Mm -hmm. So uh, she has a son and, you know, in her heart, she knew she did not want to give him vaccination. She had already told me this. She actually wanted to use a midwife as well. So a lot of the processes that dream and i went through she wanted to go through with her family right and so she tried the midwife thing came down to her delivery day ended up having to come to the hospital to have her baby uh she didn't want to do the vaccinations you know went to the doctor of course you know these doctors be quick be quick fast talking whatever will make you have fear she got him one vaccination right she felt bad about that and now she has gotten to the point to where she's like, okay, I really get it. And I really understand. And I'm really good on all of that shit. Like I'm really going to trust my abilities. I'm really going to trust my strength. So I say all of that to say, like you said, love, your soul family, they don't have to always believe the same things that you believe, follow the same path that you follow and all of those things like that. But there's still some growth. There's still some evolution. There's still some expansion. There is still a, a, an equal, or a, a, for a better word, harmonious exchange of energy and a, a harmonious exchange of, of give and receive. Mm -hmm. At the soul level, though, right? 
See, we can think that it's just mundane. Oh, she gives us our juices now. But no, those juices are supporting us in our healing. Mm -hmm. Raising our vibration. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're talking about some deep spiritual concepts. I got one of my soul sisters in here right now. Iman, who I just love. We met in Wound Alchemy. And it's just been love. Like... Iman, you know, it's just so family. It's just, I just automatically get it. We just automatically get each other. And though I was teaching the course, as she was speaking, and a couple of other ladies, as they were speaking, I was receiving so much from them. As I taught Iman in the class, she will teach me too. And that's because it's a soul, it's, it's a sacred relationship, and it's a space where we both get to grow and evolve. 